Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover how scientists are seriously considering using paper plane spacecraft for future space missions. Scientists in Japan have come up with a simple solution to the growing debris in low Earth orbit, a paper plane. No joke. A team of researchers from the University of Tokyo made a paper plane out of an A4 sheet and had it fly out of the International Space Station in a simulation. Did it survive atmospheric re-entry? The idea was put forward by the scientists in a paper published in Acta Astronautica. They showed how origami paper can solve the trash problem in space. The study argues that metals need not be solely relied upon to build spacecraft. A standard sheet of paper is also perfect for the job as it will burn up in the atmosphere during re-entry. Typically, when a spacecraft re-enters Earth's atmosphere, it leaves behind metallic particles and chemicals that damage the ozone layer. The research aims to show how a more sustainable orbital environment can be created by using paper. The experiment comprised a paper plane made of an uncoated A4 sheet with an aluminium tail and placed in a wind tunnel to see what would happen to it in space. The layers at the nose were folded to shift its center of mass upstream and ensure aerodynamic stability. The researchers clarified in the paper, such spacecraft have not yet flown in space. It is unclear whether their flight dynamics in the highly rarefied atmosphere in low Earth orbit would be similar to those of a usual ground-based origami plane, and whether the plane would survive or burn up during atmospheric entry. However, they agreed that the entire plane cannot be made out of paper, and only specific parts can be built using the sustainable solution. The simulation had the paper plane being launched from the ISS at an altitude of 400 kilometers and a speed of 17,448 miles per hour. It remained stable and glided swiftly through the space-like environment. Then, at a lower altitude of 120 kilometers above Earth's surface, it started tumbling out of control. The paper states that this is expected at this position. Also, the severe aerodynamic heating would burn up the paper plane in the atmosphere at an altitude of around 90 to 110 kilometers. After this, a physical model of the plane was placed in the Kashiwa Hypersonic and High Enthalpy Wind Tunnel at the University of Tokyo. It was subjected to Mach 7 speeds for about 7 seconds to see if it would disintegrate. The plane's nose bent and the wings started charring, although it did not break apart. The researchers said it likely would have had they kept going. However, an origami paper spacecraft has its challenges. It cannot be used for all kinds of missions. Researchers suggest a version could be used as a passive probe to measure atmospheric density. It could also be a platform for low-cost and short-lived missions in low Earth orbit. Besides, it would be really small and won't reflect radar as strongly compared to a traditional spacecraft. A miniaturized position, navigation, and timing transceiver could be added to it, they stated. It would also be extremely sensitive to aerodynamic drag and won't be able to stay in orbit for long durations. So it can only be used for short duration missions. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.